Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode we're checking out Frightsville, Don't Let the Doll In, written by Mike Ford. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. Starting off our passage preview in the middle of chapter one. I think this one is my favorite, Chris said, picking up one of the figures and holding it out for everyone to see. He's called the Fishman of the Lost Lagoon. Mara leaned over and picked up one of the other figures. That one is the Werewolf Bride, Chris told her. Look at the flowers in her crown. They're covered in blood. She's cool, said Mara, and the perfect size to live in my dollhouse. Maybe if your dollhouse was a castle in Transylvania, Olivia joked. Where did you get these? Mara asked Krish. This awesome new store, said Krish. Frightville, it just opened. It's across the street from the grocery store, between Comic Land and the Dirty Dog Washateria. They sell all kinds of weird stuff. Before Mara could ask any more questions, Miss Taggart came in. All right, everyone, she said cheerfully. I hope you're ready for a pop quiz on algae and fungi. And now let's check out the back of the book blurb. Welcome to Frightville, one-stop shopping for all of your fears. The perfect dollhouse needs the perfect doll. When Mara hears about a new store called Frightville, she can't wait to check it out. On its shelves are strange and unusual gifts of all kinds. It's there that she comes face to face with Charlotte, a small figurine of a friendly looking girl. Mara instantly feels that Charlotte is meant to live with her. But once Charlotte is in the dollhouse, strange things start to happen. There are odd noises in the night, and objects from Mara's room start to go missing. Is Mara imagining things, or is this doll actually haunted? All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of Truth is this book for you. If not, be sure to check out some of the other book previews we have on the Super Quick Book Preview playlist. If you like historical fiction, you might want to check out I Survived the Wellington Avalanche of 1910. If you like reading books about students with learning challenges, you might want to read Eliza Bing is Not a Big Fat Quitter. Thank you so much for checking out this book with me. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I hope you find something that you want to read.